I love to play the saxophone. I take it with me wherever I roam, and the sound of the saxophone always brings me home. Play that saxophone. I keep it with me every day, 'cause there's a song in my heart that I've got to play, and I feel it down deep in my soul. I love my saxophone. I love that saxophone. Run around or you can jump off the stage, and I know with the saxophone that that's okay. You can sit, you can dance, you can rock, or you can stand and sway. Oh, Now what I do is press the first key down, take a deep breath and a good look around, and I blow in the horn and it makes a big, big sound. Everyone who came out to see us last year. Happy New Year!、Um, happy everything. This is an amazing start to 2022, and I look back. I think we've all looked back on 2021 and just thought, "Wow, that happened. That was crazy." And we've all had our own way of making that year go by. But we feel so lucky. We feel so lucky. I feel incredibly lucky to have been on the road, to have been on tour, to have seen you guys, to have smiled and seen you smiling back. And I just feel like we got away with something. And、uh, so, thank you for coming out. Thank you for coming to the shows. Thank you for coming to our wine tastings before almost every show on the Christmas tour. It was just absolutely incredible. So, thank you for an incredible 2021. And we're back. For、uh, 2022, just to make some crazy food and、um, drink some awesome wine、yeah. and and be together. I just、uh, nice、I just I know right. 
Well, does <laughs> pertain. It's not may, it does. But does. Uh, I just, um, it's funny, I just walked up here with you, and these are some of the pants that I probably wore 8,000 times during the Christmas tour. Yeah. There's not a lot of opportunities to do laundry out there. So I just reached in my back pocket, and I had uh, a pouring disc in there for the top <laughs> of a bottle. So this must have been one of the nights we were uh, maybe with you guys somewhere in the country doing a wine tasting. I must have put this in the back pocket right around there. That's right. Yep. That's right. <laughs> See, I have reeds in my back pocket for saxophones. He has pouring discs for um, wine. It's kind of crazy. All do, right. Do you feel the heat coming off that I hand? I do. I feel the heat. You feel the heat? Okay. It's too much heat. I can't this go on. What's going to happen here? I this can't is, go on. This is what's going to happen. I can't go on. He can't go on. No, you have to go on. You have stuff to cook. So our excuse for being here today is we have brand new wines that are coming out for our club members uh, Mid-February, we have two wines. Uh, I'm drinking our 2020. This is called Viva La Jazz. And you are going to be drinking it soon. But this is a Napa Valley Chardonnay uh, that we're releasing very soon. And then we've got a Petite Syrah. Oh, this is special. Look at that. So this is brand new, brand new wine, brand new label that Peanut here designed. Wait, I'm Peanut, but you're not yep. supposed to say that in front of people. Peanut, she designed this. So we'll talk about this in a minute. But I mean, could be one of our best red wines yet. Could be. And it's a super cool label. We had fun with... Uh, Can we blend them together? No. No. <laughs> we had fun with watercolors one night at the table, and it turned out... Hey, I'll take more of that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... We've got these two new wines, and what do we like to do? We like to cook. And we like to cook with you because, you know, we live together. I see a lot of him. He's yeah. super cute, and I do like him. But, uh, ting. What? That's supposed to be a sparkle coming off my teeth. Wow. Really? Ting. Does your husband do that? The, the... Wait, I'm looking at the camera. What's my good side? Oh, they're both my good side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think your husband does that too. Uh, I don't know what mine does. So, uh, God bless. So, I'm going to make my favorite fruit appetizers, you know, when you're sitting around the house and you want something a little fancier than just the chips. Yay! Um, thank you. And then the cork dork husband is going to make an amazing steak with blue cheese and butter and everything rich. So um, they're both going to pair with our awesome wines today. I'm going to play you a little music. Hey, Jordan, and, look at the uh, screen. Oh, yeah. Check out the screen. The <laughs> well, Walters love your label. So See? Jordan's in the house. She designed our right, Viva La Jazz label. Let me bring her in real quick. Jordan, I'm just going to, just real quick, we're going to bring you in. So everybody, here's our daughter, Jordan. She's Hi. Like, Woo! Jordan. Hi. <laughs> So a lot of people out there are big fans, Jordan. So the I love the Viva, La, Viva label that Jordan made. Look at that. Thanks. Cool <laughs> that? Um, and Jordan's got some awesome hair. So uh, we love that. You got the best uh, hair on the planet, chick. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Jordan. Hi everyone. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make you uh, more embarrassed later on, but uh, okay. we're gonna put you back in the green room and you okay. go back to drawing. And uh, everybody, say hi to our daughter Jordan. Woo Hello. Oh, Jordan's a secret weapon of the company. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I don't say that because I'm gonna have to pay her a lot more than I already do. <laughs> you didn't anything yet? Come oh, on. I'm sorry, Jordan. They can't hear you. The sound's <laughs> going out. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> Now, uh, we also want to uh, say a few thank yous. Um, we got Legoed, and you guys, I, I don't hey, know. Are we going to play and cook? I, yeah, but I just want right. to say thank you because it's so oh, cool. Then I see this. you play and cook. Thank you, Eric Sarmiento and Carrie at Smooth Jazz Family because. They hooked us up with us as Legos. A little fuzzy on the camera for some reason. Cool that's is that. Yeah, yeah. But we feel cool. And sometimes that's just all it, it's about, really. So thank you, guys. You guys are super awesome. All right. I'm going to play you a little uh, music. And then we're going to make you some food. Yay! Stop playing with Legos and stuff, right? Stop playing Legos. with your Lego. All right, you guys. Stop um, playing with my Lego. And that's not code. What? What? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to play you a song just to start things out um, because I was coming up with a set list. Our yeah. next gig is Jazz Alley, which is my 20th anniversary 
at Jazz Alley in Seattle and 20 years of playing Valentine's Week there. And that's kind of awesome and romantic. I know he's over there playing with Legos and it's, it's, it's that, romantic. Is that code? <laughs> so I was coming up with romantic songs to play for my residency at Jazz Alley uh, Valentine's Week. So this is a, a beautiful song called Someone to Watch Over Me. This is for my cork door husband. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We must have had a good year. Right? Dun, yeah. dun, dun. All right. So people want us to cook. The nice people out there want you to cook. They don't want me to cook. They want to drink wine. I want hey, you to yeah. cook. Okay. I'll cook for you. <laughs> All right. Come here and, and talk about the wine, and then I'll, I'll make my little, uh, my little stuff. Well, let's, how about you start cooking, and I'll do it at the same time. All right. All right. I can, I can make those kind of things. I'll move you back there. Okay, move me back yeah, there. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so our Chardonnay is cool. It's a little, uh, I don't know, it's fruity. It's awesome. Um, I love drinking it. I can drink a lot of this. So what I decided to make is what I love to eat, which is fruit and cheese. All right, so, so guess what? What? Cooking cam. Cooking cam. Cookie oh, we've cam. got a cooking cam. Cook Wait, here we go. Cooking cam. Woo! Cooking cam. Hello. All right, you got a little wine there. What? All right, 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 right. All right. Now, I'm going to take a pear, because I love pears. I'm going to chop them up. It's a him. That's right. <laughs> Is that hey. you as a Lego? Hey, what are you doing there, Mindy? Um, you know. You're looking pretty hot tonight. Hey, thanks. How's it going? Thanks, baby. I got to you know. go take care of the show. Woo, okay. bye. Mm -hmm. You do that. You do that. All right, All right, so while you're cutting up the pear, let me, uh, real quick, actually, Mindy did mention that we are drinking a 2020 Napa Valley Chardonnay. For those of you out there that have been with us for a very long time, uh, you'll know this as a 2018 Treble Clef Chardonnay. It's the same wine, just a different vintage, and moving forward, we're naming it Viva La Jazz because we want to use Jordan's unbelievable, really cool, kick-ass label, and we know that it pairs really well with jazz music. So this is made in the Napa area, highest prestige possible. 
But what Mindy and I love about this wine, and we've now done three Chardonnays. This will be our third one. For those of you that love uh, something that's slightly, slightly more buttery, I don't want to say buttery, definitely not, but slightly more. This one has a little bit more oak onto it, uh, but it still has all that bright fruit. And talking about the bright fruit, that's why when we were uh, buying apples to get today, yeah. we chose opal. Here, get, get that off there for me. Arr. Arr. Here you go. We chose opal apple. And the reason why is because granny apple, you want to try to match the fruits of the wine with the fruit of the, of the, uh, that you're actually using on your dish. Here's opal. See that? All right. Authentic. And, uh, and the, we went with this because this apple is not as tart. You know, this has got a little bit more of a the more mild acidity to it, which this wine does. And we could have went with a green apple, but that's that's super tart and it would have worked, but not as much as this. And that's another reason we went with the red pear. Right, Mindy? I, I actually just liked the red pear because it was prettier. And um, uh, just, you know, the, the they can see you all the way on the side of the board there. You're off the board. Oh, right. There you go. All right. Yep. So let's go back to normal camera. So. Wait, actually, you know, let me do this. What? There you go. More on the board. There you go. So I cut up our cool apple, right? Yep. And then I cut up our cool red pear. Whoops. Hey, get that out of my pan. <laughs> I could. All right, here, I'm gonna take, take you back to Epic Cam. Epic Cam. <laughs> I, I cut up our cool red pear. Right. And then I cut up dates. Um, I don't know, we live in California, dates are everywhere. So I cut them in half. These things are huge. This is nuts. Um, so you can put these around and it makes it pretty, you know, colorful and awesome. So you can make it kind of a cool, like little plate, right? So then I cut up cheese. So a couple different kinds of cheese. I actually like Parmesan and it gives it kind of a, a zest along with the sweetness of the fruit. I really like that. So I've got Parmesan and I've got Pecorino Romano, which is a little saltier. So I like to put the Pecorino Romano with the dates because the dates are super sweet. So. Okay, I'm going back to the cooking cam. Right? Pecorino Romano. Cooking cam. Go. So I put little pieces like this because it's a strong cheese. You don't want to get crazy with it. So just push it in like that. Okay, let me get you on camera more. Right. Go there. Oh, right. All of these. Pulling me over. All right. Okay. okay. So I put it in the little dates and then got a little, little uh, walnuts, right? Yeah. So pour out a few walnuts here. And why I love the choice of walnuts um, or sometimes almonds with Chardonnay because they have a buttery flavor to them, right? They're a little salty, but they're buttery, especially really fresh walnuts. So again, matching the little bit of butter in the wine like with that. a little bit of butter in the walnuts what? is perfect. So you got the wine has got this beautiful apple in it. It's got this beautiful pear notes in it, and it has this beautiful walnuts. So it all fits together perfectly for a Chardonnay appetizer. I love that. Okay, so then I'm going to going back to Parmesan. And it's not as salty as the um, it's not as salty as the pecorino romano, but I really like it with the pear and the apple. So I think it's pretty cool. Again, I don't use too much. Take I me just, back. Take me back to the can. I put it, you know, just like little pieces like this and slice it because it can get too much. Now the husband, Damn. he wants a big hunk of cheese. Yeah, but I don't want to see you use knives, man. Your living is with your fingers. Stop it. Love driving in nuts with the knives. Okay, does everybody out there see the kind of knife that Mindy is using? I want everybody to comment on this. Please come to my aid. <laughs> so as you can see underneath our counter, hold on, hold on. I, I wish oh, I had an air cam. Hold on, I'm going to air cam. Oh my camera. god. Yep. Is this a knife skills cam? Yep, here we go. All right, we're on air cam right now. So you can't see it. Off to the that over there by Mindy is we have a whole rack of knives. And everybody knows there is different knives for different jobs. You got little knives. You got Thin knives yeah. that are used for filleting fish, not right. cheese. Right. And then you got the big fat knives, you know, the cool chef knives that kind of cut through bigger pieces or substantial like that pieces. That guy, that's a knife. Yeah. Well, can't see you get a ring oh. here. Um, but so that's a knife. Girlfriend here that makes a living with the <laughs> ten fingers that she has. Get away from me with that knife. <laughs> she 
She loves to, to cut with a little thin knife on these hearts, and I see it like, well, no, no, no. Eat that's, that. That's my, uh, that's my, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You know, if your husband gets after you about the knife skills, just shove some cheese and a cool apple in his mouth. He seems to be pretty happy, right? Yeah. Yep. That's very good. It's funny. No one's complaining anymore. Hold on. Let me get another one. Oh, I don't want any more, though. <laughs> no? I got steak to cook, man. All right. So, that good. is how you do this. This is my cool little pear. This is the Parmesan. It's awesome. Just but put down the knife. <laughs> but this is the absolute coolest. Like the walnut, the pecorino romano, the date. That's like a sugar bomb with a cool walnut in the center. See? He likes it. I want to eat this piece. Bye. And it pairs really well. Get it? Pear? Oh. It pairs. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Mine pairing. Hair. I wish the camera was off on that one. Ah. Oh. All well, right. That is my appetizer of love. What do you guys think? I think it's really great. And, uh, you know, he gets to cook the steak. I didn't have to cook anything. I just had to chop up stuff. What? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people chiming in about their knives skills right now. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you guys more. Come on. I mean, we have about 10,000 people watching right now. And every one of them just chimed in and said, Mindy's got to use bigger knives or not use knives at all. How about that? What, am I supposed to break off the cheese? That's my wine. Hey, by the way, is anybody, so Mindy and I. So much more fun to drink his wine. We came home a couple days ago. And one of the things we did was other than trying to catch up on some movies that, you know, we totally missed in the last month because we were, we were home, I think, five days and nine weeks. And it was pretty awesome. But it was tiring. You need more wine. So what we did was we catched up on the Beatles special. We caught up on the Beatles special? We watched the whole Beatles special. <laughs> so who out there, raise your hand if you if you watched the Beatles special, right? So good. Was it on Apple? Apple, right? Yeah, it was. And, and it was all about Let It Be, which I don't know about you guys. We knew a lot about the Beatles. Beatles we love them even more now. Unbelievable that they could throw out that many songs. Yeah, it's um, called Beatles Get Back. And Beatles it was, Get Back. What, eight hours? He wasn't so sure he wanted to go through eight hours of something. A couple hours were tough. John Lennon was talking like this a lot. You know? <laughs> he had the weirdest hat there. Right? I never really heard John Lennon talk that much. But he's like, this, hey, Paul, let's play this note. And We've been in a Beatles haze for the last my, few uh, weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So we were blown away, though. by So who out there uh, watched this movie? Uh, raise your hand if you did. And when they finished on the roof, right? That was like the best part, right? Such a payoff, you guys. If you only watched the last segment, they're playing on the roof. Awesome. There you go. Come on. Get it. Get it. Wait, watch this. Wipe by overbite. Wipe by overbite. Get back. Get back. Get back to where you want to belong. Get back, Jojo. Get back. Get back to where you want to belong. Get back, Mindy. All right, I mean, it pairs well with the wine, too. It does. It actually does. And, and if you guys haven't seen this, watch it. it. It'll establish them as the greatest band to ever live, even more so. That's and hard it, to do, yeah. While they were in the studio for about a couple weeks, and then a couple weeks after that, they did Let It Be and Abbey Road, and it, watch each song get played. Paul would walk up to the piano, and all of a sudden, um, the long and windy road, he was just just came up with it. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So you guys got to watch that. I didn't think I could love them more, but uh, yeah. yeah, I get it. Uh, it's amazing. The greatest man of all time. Yeah. All right, so let's go on to the next wine. Which is... Wait, don't we need Jordan? Yeah. Then, oh, yeah, Jordan. We're going to finish yeah. off with Jordan because she did this wine and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay. We're going to have, have this Jordan is, come in. This is really well planned. We thought about this <laughs> long and hard. Hey. It's the long and winding road. Hi, of... Jordan. <laughs> Hello. <Hey, you're> screen. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus mom is causing problems over there. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> well, let's, Hi. Wait, let's put us on the... She got her hair color from me. She got her hair color. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. Hello. Okay. Can she tell? Can you guys tell she's my daughter? Look at that. You guys do look alike. I we mean, have the same hair color. 
definitely the hair color. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you grab the bottle for me wherever it is? Okay, yeah. so Jordan was, he has been the designer on two of our labels. I will be, I'm very happy to say, and we'll announce now that we have another wine coming in with hopefully within the next year that Jordan designed the label and it could be one of her best yet. But one of the things I love about Jordan's designs is that she can do everything in my opinion. She goes from, she loves doing uh, animation, you know, and animation type drawings. Is that the right way to say that, Jordan? Uh, yeah, and like uh, cartoon like, uh... Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> that works. Yeah. She's drawings as kind of digital. She's all on her iPad now, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, she is starting classes at San Francisco State as an art student. Go That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Uh, Jordan, hold on. We lost Mindy's Facebook feed. Oh, yeah, I just saw the numbers drop out. Hold on a second. Oh, no. I know. Hold on. Hey, everybody. Hey, yeah, guys, uh, come in. Come in if you're still here with us, please. Comment in. Now your whole Facebook page just dropped out. Oh, that ain't right. Mm. Sorry, guys. Sorry about the little interruption here. Hold on a second. Hey, Jordan, I'm going to take you off screen while I figure this out real quick, okay? Go ahead. All right. Oh, we're down, man. We just lost everybody on the Facebook page. That sucks. I know. No. No. Uh, what do you do? I don't know. Well, to everyone else who's here, thank Hello, you for everybody. sticking with us. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the new year is, uh, you know, laden with new things to figure out. If anybody on uh, Mindy's page, if, but if you're on Mindy's page, let us know, please. We are here. Look at that. Colleen is here. Yeah, Teresa, are you, take a look, are you on the wine company or are you on Mindy's? Let's see. Sorry, guys. Sorry about this, but we, we just had like two-thirds of our off, uh, audience just disappear. Hold on. I'm going to go to Mindy's page and see. No, we're still there. Hey, I Hello. think we're here. I see us. Yep, we're still there. All right. Um, sorry, guys. The, uh, the software is telling us that Mindy's Facebook page dropped out, but I think, uh, I think we're okay. Yep. Yep. All right. We're going to power through. All right. So let me bring Jordan back in, okay? There you go, Jordan. Sorry about that. You're good. You're back. Hey, right. what are you working on? Will you show us? <laughs> um, That's putting her on the spot. I know that is putting you on the spot. Is it finished enough to show us? I can. I was. I was drawing something just for fun. It's supposed to be funny. I can show you something else though, because <laughs> people. Whoa! Are show us what you're doing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, show us whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it. <laughs> It's not, it's not like inappropriate or anything. I just don't think it, people will get it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I made, okay. I made this yesterday though, and I was actually pretty happy with the way that it came out. Oh, shoot. Hang on. It's too bright. Come on. Okay. You see it better? A little bit? Hold it way up there. Hold it up. Yeah. Uh, hold it back a little bit. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh yeah, no, no, hold oh, on. Oh wow, that yeah. looks amazing. Wow, Jordan, that's awesome, man. Wow. Oh, I, uh, there we go. Okay, you can. It's sideways, but you at least can see it better. No, I totally see it. Good job, man. That's unbelievable. That is so oh, cool, you. Jordan. I'm, I'm still, I'm in the, um, I've told my parents this, but for everyone else, I'm in the middle of changing up my art style. My yeah. last art style was heavily based off of someone else's artwork. So I'm trying to create my own. And I really like uh, comic book style slash like almost like character, you know, like you get your drawing done or like your right. face, like a drawing done on yeah. uh, like um, like the, the fair. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to figure that out. But I, I think I'm starting to finally find it. So uh, I love that. And I'm pretty happy with how that came out. It's a very sassy chick with short hair. She could be. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> self-exploration yeah, in the uh, portraiture. Yeah. Uh, Just saying. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Jordan. That looked really great. And so this label here that we talked about, remember we said, you know, um, we, we needed something simple. It's hard to do a saxophone really artistic, in my opinion, because it can kind of look goofy sometimes. It can kind of look like a cartoon. And we didn't want that as much. We wanted more of like a really clean, elegant painting that you put on the wall right yeah 
And so, how, you know, when you did this, how many strokes was it? Was it just two? Was it more than that? I know you kind of worked on it afterwards, but the initial design, how many strokes did you actually use to make that? If I can remember, because I've made that a while ago. Um, <laughs> maybe like, because I think the saxophone by itself was one, and then I filled it in with the black. And then, yeah, I'm going to go with two. Two different right, ones. Cool. One for the saxophone and one for like the... And the I think one for the, the keys, right? The, the yes. Keys. Wow. Holy key. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to go with two. <laughs> and we put it on this really beautiful kind of rustic paper stock, but made the saxophone bright as people could see the shine. And so you did a really great job, man. I mean, it is... Well, I don't know. Maybe you'll see it on the shelf selling millions of cases someday, right? That'd be cool. Yeah. I think it's pretty special. I, I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot of drawings of saxophones and paintings of saxophones over the years. And it's hard to make a saxophone simple. It's hard to make a saxophone um, look effortless because there's just so much to it. And I just love what you did with it. And I love that it's one of our ongoing brands now. Um, and you're behind it. So how yeah. cool. <laughs> it's very, it's very, um, it means a lot to me. It's very special. So. Uh, well, um, it yeah. means the world to us too. Absolutely. And so do you. Um, we love you. We're going to put you back in the little green room there. Do you have to get okay. going or can you hang with us a little longer while we deal with these tech? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good until uh, seven. So yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You've got other wine to drink Bye, and Jordan. you've got a steak to do. Bye, Jordan. Yep. Um, hit the stove for me, and I'm going to work Woo! on this just a little longer because we did lose a feed. Yeah. You're on Epic Cam right now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Okay, so not only do I have knives, but I have hot cooking surfaces. And nothing says I should drink a glass of wine and get next to knives and cooking surfaces more than the new year. Killing it. Uh, I love that this sends my husband into a panic. So I'm just going to get closer to it. All right. So <laughs> what we're going to do right now is we are going to, I uh, hate to say it, we're going to kill this show and start it real over again. I know. Your page is not coming up. No! Sorry, everybody out there. So if everybody's watching on different channels right now, please bear with us. We're going to actually end the show right now, and then we're going to come right back. There's so, so much more. There's, there's so more much music. More, more music. So uh, we're going to come back in a second, okay? Say bye to the nice people. <laughs>